Take a look as fire crews put out a fire in Syracuse University's new house school late last night. So if I was panicked a little bit, I was on the phone with my mom and dad and I was just like, I don't know what to do. Like, I need my stuff to go home. Like, I don't know where I'm going to like go tonight if I can't. We saw fire trucks outside. So we look out the window and we're like, oh my God, what's going on? We go downstairs because we think it's happening across the street and there's a bunch of firefighters in the lobby and they're like, what are you guys doing in here? You have to get out. In a statement sent out by the Syracuse Fire Department, firefighters inside located a fire in a first floor classroom. Teams of firefighters immediately began to connect their hoses to the building standpipe system to get water to the fire, while other teams began to search the area for any trapped victims. Syracuse Fire Chief Michael Mons telling Citrus TV last night that they were able to put out the fire quickly. The main bulk of damage was limited to the, that first floor classroom where the, where the fire started. But anytime you have a fire, it produces a lot of smoke. So bulk, the bulk of this operation was uh, clearing smoke from the rest of the building, smoke that had traveled from where the fire started up into other parts of the building. Um, we want to make sure we cleared all that out. Uh, before we let people back inside to, so we can ensure a safe environment. In an email last night sent out by Newhouse Dean Mark Lodato, I understand that such incidents can be unsettling, but please rest assured that we are working diligently to minimize any disruption while maintaining a secure and conductive learning environment. No injuries to students, thankfully, and no injuries to the responders that were here. Syracuse students grateful that they could get their belongings back. So I'm just going to go home and go to bed and be happy that I have my stuff.